and we're back. So, um, so we as the time came to take the elevator or elevator. Why do I keep saying elevator? Piano out of the truck. Um, this 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 guy. It was like a Hispanic skinny dude in a blue car, and he starts backing into spot. You know, there was there was a black dude in the passenger seat. <laughs> And I put my hand up, right, because the other three guys were in the truck. I put my hand up. I'm like, hey, I'm trying to get his attention. I'm like, hey, hey, hey. And the guy's just ignoring me. He's As he's backing up, I see him doing, he's, I see him doing this. And I'm trying to get his attention. Right? I'm like, hey, hey, hey. And I'm like nine, ten feet away. And then he stops as he's backing in, and he rolls down the window. And he says, if you come any closer, I'm going to shoot you. And I look at him, I'm like, what the fuck? And he's like, you coming in close to my fucking car, I'm going to fucking shoot you. I got conceal and carry. I'm going to fucking shoot you. And at this point, like, this is my personality here. Like, if I'm pushed, I'm pushing back. Right? Like, I don't like being given directions like that. I don't like being forced to do anything. So now you're telling me to stop. To, I'm, I'm trying to get your attention to, you, to, to not disrupt a piano move. And you're threatening to shoot me, <laughs> right? And I'm like, I'm like, dude, we're tr I'm, I'm still being calm here, and I got my other hand in the sky now. I'm like, I'm like this. I'm like, hey, we're just trying to move piano. We need this space. He's like, I don't give a fuck. This ain't your space. You come any closer, I'm gonna fucking shoot you. And I'm like, we're trying to move a piano, dude. He's like, I don't give a fuck. I don't give. This guy was ghetto as fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. This is my spot. This is my spot. I'm like, this is my spot. I'm going to park wherever the fuck I want. I got a concealed carry. I'm going to fucking shoot you. And then he parks the car. He bumps the car in front of him, which was the owner of the place we were moving the piano into. And I'm like, and you bumped this guy's car. He's like, I didn't do shit. I didn't do shit. Just loud as fuck. Loud ghetto motherfucker, right? And then he gets out of the car. And he's like, you want to fight? You want to fight? And I'm like, no, I don't want to fight. He's like, come on, let's fight. Let's fight. Come on. Just and like, there's going to be a lot of curse words in this one because this is me imitating him he's like you just got a bitch you don't want to fight you don't want to fight and i'm like i'm not gonna fight you over a parking spot he's like oh you're just a bitch you want to fight or not you he's just being loud and i'm like at this point like i said my personality if you're gonna yell at me i'm gonna yell back that's just who i am that's just who i am right and i know to fucking not throw the first punch and i know not to fucking swing a guy when he says he's got a gun um and I don't know how fucking I don't like. Obviously, this is a two-on-one fight. I don't know if the guys in the truck are gonna help me fight. If this if this fucking thug in the passenger seat's gonna join in, you know. So I'm like, I'm 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 calculating everything in my brain. I'm like, I don't want to fight you. He's like, come on, let's fight. Come on, come on. And I'm like, I'm not gonna fight you. He's like, so what? You're not gonna fight? And I scream at him at the top of my lungs. At this point, there's like five or six people on the street watching this, and I scream at him. I'm like, no. And then he backs up, gets back in his car. And then he's fucking talking shit. And like I said, I don't know how to react in the situation. I've never been threatened with a gun. I know not to turn my back on this fucking guy. Right? So I'm like, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep my eyes on this guy. And I told him, I was like, I was like, dude, you threatened me with a gun. I'm calling the cops. He's like, you ain't going to do shit. I pull out my phone. I fucking call the cops. The fucking owner of the house is already calling the cops. And I'm on the I'm following the cops and like oh dispatch is all calm and shit like what's the matter I'm like someone just threatened me with a gun, and I give them the address, and then whoever they were there to pick up comes out, and they start coming towards me, and they're like you ain't shit you ain't shit like this is our parking spot, I'm like no it's not, because in Chicago when it snows people put cones or chairs or whatever and try to claim parking spots when the snow is actually melting now, and I'm like this ain't your spot this is no one's spot. He's like, this is our spot. We fucking shoveled it out. I'm like, no, it's not, right? So there's, they're picking a fight now. And I was like, look, I'm done talking to you. You threatened me with a gun, all right? If you want to talk to someone, the police are on their way. He's like, all right, fine. I'll fucking talk to police. I'm like, all right, they're on the way. And they're probably going to have guns drawn because you told them you got a fucking gun. You told me you got a gun. And you're the one being a fucking idiot right now. You're the one being threats. The cops are on their way. They get in the car, they start driving out, they pull up to the side of the truck, they start making more threats. They start saying they're going to come back later and figure this out. And I'm like, keep making threats, guys. That's that's the best way to do it. And the fucking thug black dude in the passenger seat is like, you're, you'll see. You'll see. So 
we get back to work loading up the fucking um trying to move the piano up you know up into the into the condo and uh all this going on the first unit shows up and he's like what's going on here we got a we got a report about a gun being drawn or something i was like i was like he didn't draw the gun but he threatened me with a gun and i gave the description i gave him the plate number and he just took off so part of me thinks that this dude was some kind of career criminal probably already the cops was seemed like they already knew who he was um the second and third unit show up and they're talking to me the second unit's like well did you see a gun i'm like does it matter at this point does it really matter if i saw a gun he threatened me with a gun he said if i come any closer he's gonna shoot me that's a threat that is a that is a a threat to my life right but the cop's like but you didn't see one i was like what does it matter right so then the other cop takes the police report and yeah i'm not making this shit up i got the report in my pocket somewhere or i did so so I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, like, how dumb is the criminal element in Chicago? This dude had to be some kind of criminal, right? Like, a person with a 95 job doesn't fucking threaten to shoot people over parking spots. I'm sorry. I, I hate to make assumptions, assumptions, but working class people who respect and obey the law don't do that shit, right? And I'm like, thinking to myself, like, how fucking dumb is this dude? Of course I'm going to call the cops on you. You fucking said you're going to shoot me over a parking spot. Right? You're making threats in front of six people. There's witnesses that are watching you act this way. Now when the cops do pull you over, they're going to pull you over with their fucking guns drawn, you fucking idiot. Like, seriously, like, what, what happened to the, like, rational part of people's brains? Like, I'm going to fucking... I might read it somewhere tomorrow that... You know, the cop shot an unarmed person because he fucking said he's got a gun. Because he threatened someone 20 minutes earlier with a gun. It might happen. But if he, do, if he does get shot, that's his own goddamn fault. He's running around making fucking threats to, over a parking spot. Over a parking spot. These motherfuckers are making threats to shoot someone. Like, yeah. So, anyway... I finished the job. I had to fucking... I don't even know what to do. I messaged the client, and I was like, the owner of the piano movie company, I'm like, hey, dude, there was some nonsense with the cops, but, you know, the job got done. Um, you know, I... I feel weird, because this is the first time in my life this ever happened to me. I've never had to deal with that kind of stupidity before. I've never been threatened with a gun before. And I know now there's going to be, you know, there's going to be the right-wingers among you, like, oh, if you had a gun, never would happen. I was moving a fucking piano. In case I don't own a gun, right? Even if I did, even if I had a concealed carry, what am I going to do with a gun when I'm moving a piano? That just seems like a bad idea, okay? And I got nothing against guns before you guys freak out. You know, I, I, I'm not a gunner. I have nothing against owning guns, okay? But... I know some of you are already thinking about it, like, oh, if you had a, if you had a gun, it never would happen. I don't know how, here's the thing, if I had a gun, I don't know how I'd react to someone threatening me with a gun. Would I keep cool-headed and tell them, like, I got a gun too? Would I immediately pull it out and be like, all right, call the cops, let's, let's play? I don't know. I've never been this, I'm not a, I'm not a wannabe tough guy. Who's going to say, like, I for sure, I would have fucking put one right between the eyes if you would have done anything. And I go, I don't know. I don't know. Unless you've been in that situation before, you don't know how you're going to react. Right? I reacted instinctively. Right? This dude's being aggressive and threatening. I was trying to de-escalate. When he's trying to get in my face and yell at me, I yelled back. And like I said, I'm examining my whole situation. The dude wants to fight. He says he's got a gun. I don't know the thug in the passenger seat. I don't know what the fuck he's planning on doing. It's not going to be a fair fight. All this shit happens. So I'm like, I just did the best course of action. I kept my eyes on him the entire time. Cause some people like, like, yeah, t like someone else told me like, Oh, you should just walked away. I'm not going to turn my back on someone when they say they got a gun. I'm watching you in the event. You do have a gun. Then I'm like, okay, then I don't, I got to figure something out. Right, I got to figure out: Am I going to charge at you? Am I going to run? Am I am I going to hide behind something? I don't know. But I'm not keeping. I'm not taking my eyes off someone when they say they got a gun. 
So I called the cops, and that's the best I could do. And hopefully they fucking find this fucking idiot. I was, I'm assuming he... I mean, like I said, considering his behavior and his mannerisms, I'm going to assume he's been arrested in the past, but I don't respond well to threats. It's not my thing, so... All right, guys, so I got this one. I want to thank you all for watching. Everyone, please stay safe, stay driven, stealthy, stay classy. Don't get threatened over parking spots. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.